All right. It is late. I have been editing and doing a lot of multi-panel videos, some of them over 90 frames. The most requested thing I've had reached out to me is, how do I make a panel? That's simple. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna show you two different ways to make a panel, one in After Effects and one in Premiere. Yeah, the, the end goal for both of these is that you'll have something that works, one will just be a file we make in After Effects that we can then turn into a Photoshop layer that just drops into Premiere and works great. The other one is one we make in Premiere and it works in Premiere. Um, I prefer the After Effects method. I find it doesn't slow down my uh, machine as much when I'm editing, but I'm gonna show you both because maybe you don't have After Effects or the thought of opening After Effects is enough to make you go crazy. So let's jump in and do this as quick as we can. Okay. After Effects. Wonderful, wonderful, not intimidating After Effects. Let's make a new project and then we're going to create a new composition. I'm going to do 1920 by 1080. That's my default. You know, call it what you want because it doesn't really matter. So we hit open. We have our composition layer. So here we are. And what we need to do first is we need to create a new solid. Um, I'm going to make mine black, black solid, and hit OK. Next thing we're going to do. Come over to our effects panel, type in grid, take your generate grid, and we're gonna drop it onto that black solid. You have a grid. All right, that's awesome. So a little bit about how grids work. We have a few options for where we wanna size from. What I tend to do is I like to size from width and height sliders. And from there, the first thing I'll do is for my width, I'm gonna take the first value, 960. And for the next value, we're going to take that 540. And you now have a basic two by two grid. It's that easy. Um, we can turn on our transparencies and we see that it's just a layer and we can export it. So there's a bunch of math to get into how to change this. You can also eyeball it um, and make it the size you want, right? If we're looking at, you know, now we have an eight person grid. So you can grab your, oh, hey, now. Now we got a four by four grid and that's a little bad. Um, I tend to eyeball, then I'll do some quick corrections. Um, and, and it's that simple. And, and what you're gonna notice is in Premiere, it's the exact same, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump back to our, our 960 and 540 grid. And we're gonna come up to, comp we're gonna make sure our transparency is on. We're gonna come up to our composition and we are going to save frame as a Photoshop layer. And then we can call it whatever we want. We're going to call it a two, two by two grid. That's done. Let's jump into Photoshop. And I'm going to show you how to make that work. And if you're editing in After Effects, you're good to go. Just start working. So let's open up some Premiere. Premiere is open. Let's just do a new project. Uh, we're going to call it a grid tut o, like tutorial, but short. All right. We're in here. Same deal. We can just go new item. And for this one, I do a transparent video, 1920 by 1080. And we can drop it on our timeline. And now we have the beginning of our project. So same deal. Go into effects. If we type in grid, you can just take grid, drop it on top, go to your effects control. And same thing. We're going to switch. You know, we see grid. We're going to switch our corner point to our height and width sliders. And do the same thing as before. 540, wrong place. We want 960 by 540. And we have our same basic grid. Um, and since this is a transparent video, as long as this stays on the top of your project, it works. Um, what you can do then is save it as a preset. You can see I have a 2x5 grid and a 3x6 cinema grid that I can drop on. All right, but now let's say you want the the best utilization of your hardware. We can go to where we saved that file, which I'm going to do, and we can drop in that Photoshop grid we made. We're going to merge layers. That's fine. And we can drop it in, and we have our grid. It's that simple. So that, that's two different ways to make a grid, one in After Effects, one in Premiere Pro, you, you can just use it. So if we dropped in a video, 
right? So if I drop in my little video, there's me. And you can see I'm right, there's Matt. Hi, Matt. You were doing a sound check. And we're behind the grid. So now we can just uh, turn on our scale, move the anchor, hit control, clip it to the corner, pick that up, slide it over. And it's beautiful. Uh, so that's how to make a grid. Pretty simple. Again, in After Effects, create a new composition, add a grid effect, save the uh, frame as a Photoshop layer, which can then be used in Premiere or in After Effects. In Premiere, we create a transparent video, apply the grid effect to it, we use the height and width to determine it, or we can take our pre-composed After Effects layers. You, you can even save it as a PNG or a JPEG, whatever you want. That is how you make it. Wow, how not scary. Um, I hope that can be helpful. Um, there's a little bit of math that goes into it, but you can always just eyeball it. And now you have a grid for your panel video and you can make it different colors and you can, it, it'll just make the finer product a little cleaner. If you have some weird issues, you can always enlarge it, make it a little wider. Um, it's an option we have to cover up any, any whoopsie doodles you have to. That's a grid really quick, really simple.